Okay, in this next lesson we're going to uh, demonstrate how to produce a voiceover. First of all we'll start using a uh, text editing program. Here I'm using Microsoft Word but you can use uh, WordPad, Notepad that comes with Windows uh, operating system. And as you can see here I've typed down the text is in uh, in groups, separate voiceovers. Well there's two there. And also too, to make it easier, I've made it 20 point big text. I can see it nice and easily. It makes it much easier to read. Now, um, to record the text, we'll need a uh, a, um, a recording package. And uh, for this exercise, I'm going to use a program called Audacity. And Audacity is a freeware program. It's uh, open source software which is available for a download off the internet. Right, here we would, we'll basically just hit the record button. As you can see, there's my voice being recorded there in the waveform on the screen. And uh, we then just uh, bring up our text file once we've started the recording and read our voiceover. Over the weekend of the 7th and the 8th of October, members of the Eastern and Mountain District Radio Club headed off to Kirth Kiln an historic charcoal kiln located in the Kirth Kiln State Park near the township of Jembrook, about 87 kilometres east of Melbourne, the capital of VK3. Right, so once we've, uh, we've recorded, <coughs> read our piece, we can then stop that and uh, we can actually edit this now, trim it up a bit, just I'll just play some back. We've recorded. <coughs> Okay, well that's not wanted, so we'll just highlight that bit and we can then delete it. <coughs> See what we've got here. Right, so once we've... Uh, okay, that also can be deleted. And we'll go back to right up the start here where we did a bit of talking at the start and see where our uh, voiceover starts. And uh, we then just... Uh, Alright, we'll be over here and read our voiceover. Over the weekend, right there we go, that's the start of our voice over there, we could delete that. Ah, we've got the pause on. End of the 7th and the 8th of October. Okay, we should be able to delete that now, there we go. Now we should really have our voice over right from the start. Might just delete that little bit there. See what we've got. Over the weekend of the 7th and the 8th of October, members of the Eastern and Mountain District Radio Club headed off All to right. Kirth Kiln. There you go. Now what we do with that now that we've done that, that's our, uh, our first cut for the video. We need to save that so we can import it into the video. <coughs> export. Got a few choices to export. WAVE, MP3, OG, FLAC, MP2. Uh, preferably I use MP3. It's a nice small file give the file a name, save it in the folder that you're doing your video in, make it much easier to find it and uh, we'll give it a name there we go, that's converting that file now to an mp3 and that's it, done! That mp3 file is now ready to uh, import into uh, Windows Movie Maker as a, a, as a music file but you would uh, place it in the voice track there we go. Producing and recording a, uh, a voiceover.